Good morning, dear students. Hope you all are doing well. Today, we are going to study Chapter 1, Numbers of Class 4. This you have also studied in Class 3. Let's have a quick recap that what all you studied. You have studied till 5 digit numbers and about that you have studied the place value, expanded form, ascending and descending order and abacus also. So these you all have covered in class 3. So now let's see what we are going to study in class 4. That is here we are having large numbers up to 7 digits numbers. For reading 7 digits number we require a number system. So here students you are going to study two different number system. One is the Indian number system and the international number system. So first today I am going to teach you about the Indian number system. Our Indian number system is divided into different groups that are we can call it as periods. Let's see how it is divided. Dear yes, students, the first group is ones that is called as ones period. In that you have ones, tens, hundreds. Then the next we have the thousand periods that is thousands, ten thousand. Then the next we have the lakhs periods that is lakhs, ten lakhs. So here you can see all the digits are given here. Three, two, four, seven, five, one, six. So they are coming under different place value that you can see the ones, tens, all are given here. Now, you can just recognize if I'm asking you 7 is at which place. So I can see that the 7 is at thousands place. Or you can, I will ask you 6 is at which place. So it comes in the 10 lakh. So that is the place value of that particular number. So now let's see how you can write these numbers. And you can read this number very easily. The first thing is you have to follow is the step 1. That is put a comma after three digits that is after one period that is three two four so here we will put the first comma then the next comma will come after five digits that is once the thousand period is over that is five digits is one two three four five so the comma will come here so now it is done so now let's see how you can write or read this number so let's come here you can see the commas are given here. Here one comma is here and the other one is here. Now let's see how we can read this. Now you know that this is coming under the lakhs period. This is coming under thousand period and this is coming under one period. So let's read it out. 61 lakhs 57,423. So this is the way to read the numbers. So students, this will make you very easy with the help of the number system that how you can read or write the numbers by inserting the commas. Now, let's see that how we can move on with the pay place value and the face value. Let's see. <coughs> Here the number is given. You can see the same number I have taken. 61,57,423. First see what I mean by a face value. Children, face value means the digit itself. Any number I am giving you and I am asking you about any digits, you have to say that the face value of that is the digit itself. Like if I am asking you, the number I have given you an example here is 5. So, you see the 5 here is here. So, that is face value is the digit itself. That is 5. Okay. And now I am asking you what is the place value of that particular digit that is 1's, 10's, 100, 1000, 10,000. It means the place value of 5 is 10,000's place it is. So see the face value and place value is very different. Face value is the face itself that is the digit itself and the place value is it means the digit is at which place. So this is the difference between the face value and the face value. Dear children, as you know that you are having the different questions in your exercise 1.1 given in your book and it, the blanks are already given. So you can attempt all these questions and you can try out this as an exercise and even you can have it in your notebook also. Please practice these questions so that it make you very easy to solve these sums. Dear children, make a practice and make a use of your day as you are sitting at home. So please do practice. And next I will be coming with the different topics that in the next class. Thank you.